Okay, this video is for Black Wraith, but on Pink, who se it seems that there's a disconnect between having a problem from the things they practice to their playing their games. When it comes to the game, they're just losing, losing focus. And the question is, do I? S the question is, my team is so strong, do I start practicing with weaker players? Uh, so Black Wraith, but on Pink, I think you want to actually start playing against players who are better than the people that you're playing with because then you're gonna learn faster, right? It might be more um, challenging, but you wanna always be, always be improving, always having more challenging competition, right? because if you're the best person on your team, or you're the best person on the team that then play against another team, and you're, you're the best person on their team too, then it's the only, it's gonna be hard to grow, grow your, your skills and grow yourself, right? So you wanna put yourself around players who are much better than you and so that you can improve you're gonna watch them you can start to replicate um, the things that they do so I would not play against weaker players because then you're gonna learn bad habits you're gonna learn what not to do so you, you want to always be challenging yourself to improve every day right um, if you don't have a juggling practice Right? And one minute a day, one minute a day, if you know, you're know you playing against some of these great players, it's the little things that you do every day that can make a, a huge impact on your game. So, um, you know, if you're, if you're striking the ball, it sounds like you're, you're, you're spending too, too much time taking free kicks and, you know, some tricks, and you, you need to drill down the fundamentals. And even a few minutes a day, right, one to two to five to ten minutes a day of something like this juggling practice, Right, um, get yourself as many balls as that you could carry in your hands. And just start having fun with it, right? Alternating, nice and easy. Right, if you drop it, no worries. Right, I got dog toys, doesn't matter. Just as long as you got anything that you could work it. Right, so develop a juggling practice and that's gonna, like juggling, it's one of those things where, right, not all great jugglers are great players, but all great players are great jugglers. So um, juggling's gonna improve your shooting, it's gonna improve your passing, it's gonna improve your, um, if you're doing, working both feet, alternating, right, it's gonna improve your touch. So definitely, that would be my, be my suggestion definitely start juggling practice and then this is just a this is a skills kick trainer right it's a rock on a rope and what it's gonna do is it's gonna help you cram months of training into days or weeks right so you can start to um, just bring this everywhere you go you get a lot of touches and it's gonna make it so that in a game right in games you, you don't want to think too much you kind of just want to be aware of just be aware of your surroundings with your space, your time, where everyone else is, and you're just executing. There's not that much thought, but right? it should be almost, uh, you're just, you're just there. You're not thinking, you're just there. And um, super relaxed, right? You just wanna have a good time. So uh, this is a great tool to help you develop your, your relaxation, touches, and your touches up balance, time and coordination, rhythm, and um, master, spread, spend some time mastering those things. And I promise, I promise you're gonna see an improvement. Uh, reach out with any questions and I hope this helps. All right, thank you.